what is the nature of parkour? Now I'm not talking about doing parkour in a natural setting like where I'm at right now here in these Utah mountains, but I'm talking about the origins of parkour, the origins of the movement, because parkour has been around for thousands of years. It's just the name hasn't come about until recently in the last 20 years. If you think back to our ancestors who have to rely on hunting and gathering to survive, and I imagine they used a form of parkour to be able to hunt their prey and to escape their predators. They had to learn how to move their bodies through the, the environment they lived in, which for them was probably a natural environment. Whether it was in forests or deserts, they had to learn to traverse the terrain, how to jump over different obstacles or across things to chase their prey. Today we're using the same type of movement, only we adapt it to our own environment. And so most popularly now you see parkour being publicized in the urban setting, in videos and in media, because that's what most of us live in today is in urban settings with large cities or you know, maybe we even live in suburbs or rural cities, but even with those we're still doing a form of movement that is allowing us to adapt to that specific environment. So now the type of parkour movements you see require climbing brick walls and jumping off buildings and overcoming handrails. You know, thousands of years ago, or even just a couple hundred years ago, they didn't have those types of structures. And so parkour itself has been around for thousands of years. It's just it evolves as our environment evolves. And so really understanding how parkour works is learning how to adapt to your environment, whether it be in the city or whether it be here in nature. As you probably saw in my Assassin's Creed 3 video, where everything I did was in nature off of trees or boulders or rocks. Those are all things I had to learn to adapt to and train in to be able to know how to do it. And the thing is, is although it takes training and practice, it's in our nature to be able to do those things because it was in the nature of our ancestors to be able to do those things. We just have to learn to be in touch with that nature. We have to learn the way our body moves. It's different for every single person because we all have different types of bodies. And so it's important to understand the nature of parkour is already in you. You just have to explore and discover what's already there. And it will still take time and practice to get there because the current society we live in we grow up using cars as transportation, sitting in classrooms all day, working in offices where we sit all day, and the only time we do any sort of movement is when we need exercise. So we go to the gym and do a quick one hour weights or running or whatever it may be. We've lost that touch of what it's really like to move within our environment. It was something, like I mentioned, our ancestors did all the time because it was a part of their living. And I think that's really the movement of parkour, the community of parkour. It's to be in touch with what's already there, what our bodies are already capable of. So if you're into the nature of parkour, be sure to like this video and let me know what you think of the nature of parkour. And be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.